Hey, kindergarten friends, go ahead and grab your sight word packet out. We're going to work on that. We'll practice all the words today, and then I'll give you three new ones. We're going to do three new words today. And then just a quick reminder, keep practicing your at words, doing the pages for all of those for the at. So you have filling in more words, practicing those, playing the rule, read and trace, writing word families, words and then sentences, and drawing pictures. And then this is for our test on Friday. So save that page. Tomorrow, so oh, don't yeah. do anything here. So keep practicing, sounding out those sounds. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. And we are going to read our words. I'm gonna use my pencil. All right, here are the 20 that we've done. All the cat, no, dog and cat words. Those are those first 20. So we'll read through them. Any of the ones you struggled with as we go through, pull out of your list so you could keep practicing and getting those done. All right, here we go. That's a pirate word. <laughs> The last row. I always get glare on that. Yeah. Row. All right. Good job. As I said before, keep this hair bothering me. Keep the ones that you need to practice with, or all of them, and do that. So today's words we're going to be doing Ooh. three of them. Um, so we're going to do three pages in our book. So the first one is B. B. E. B. Normally the E would say E, eh, but. This is English language, and this just says B, not the buzzing B, but I want to be at the store. This next word we're going to do is this. I want this to be a word we practice. So there's that word, this. So we've got B and this. And then our third word is from. And this we use a lot, especially some of you who are using the writing area as I look over there. Remembering who is over there when you write to so-and-so from, or sometimes you, many of you are writing love, but this is something you would write in a letter or something to someone you would say from Mrs. Anderson. So those are our three words. We've got be, this, and from. So let's turn to our page in here. Well, this is the first one we're going to work on is B, and I think you know what you need to do here. You're just gonna grab a crayon or- I like this one, I know. Grab a crayon, and you're gonna find all the words that say B, and you're gonna color over them so you can find them quickly. Great practice, read through all the words. To start here, the, B, and, with, this, too, just like we do here, it's on here, and every time you get to a B, you can color it in. So now that you've had lots more practice of reading, you can definitely add that to your um, work as to reading the words and then just coloring in the ones that say B. All right, those are my last two I'm giving you. So if you're watching, color them in now. All right, you can pause it or keep going. We're going to work on the next page for this. And this you'll need crayons and a pencil, or you could use a marker depending on um, your work, and you'll need scissor and glue. So our word is this. You're going to trace it. T H I S saying the letters as you do it, so it's always good practice. Or if you can do the letters quick, you can do the sound. So t, i, s, this. So two different ways you can do that, or you can do both ways, saying the letters and then the sounds. Then you're gonna write it. T, eight. Oh, I didn't go all the way down. I, s. Probably getting it two more times. And then this is the. You can choose two colors to do your rainbow writing. T, H, I, S, and then one more. T, H, I, S, and then you'll do it here, this. Then you're gonna find it, just like you did for B. Say the, the words as you go, pro, uh, go through it. No, want, like, oh, this, get this, and go to the rest. I'm not going to find any more. You guys got two there. And then this last one is matching the picture to the letter. So you have T-H-I-S. You have four different pictures down here. You'll cut them out. You've got hat, which is a h sound. Igloo, which is a i sound. Sun, which is a s sound. And turtle, which is a t sound. Where do you put them? And then the last page is 
a different one for the word from. Oh, it's one of these ones. <clears throat> so, yep, so it's like all three different. So that's why I thought we'll do three. So tracing like you did for the others, saying the letter or the sound. F, r, a, uh, m, mm, from. Tracing. Writing in the block letters, you'll see that from goes into the attic, so that's why the box is bigger. So make sure you use the space when you're writing the letter. And then here, if you remember, this is when you color the picture inside the letter. So you have the F-R-O-M. Let's go over the pictures in case they're confusing. We got a flower, a fox, I'm guessing that's a fox, and a flag. Which ones do you color in for that f sound? For the R, you've got a fish, a rabbit, and a ring. Color in the ones. For O, you have, we know this one now, on. The light switch is on. Got an octopus, a bat, and a train. So sort of color which ones start with that ah sound. And then for M, you've got a, a well, a moon, a mouse, and an ice cream. Well, that was, those are some new pictures. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so color in the ones that have a mmm sound. And then down here, you're cutting out these letters and gluing them in order to spell the word from down at the bottom. So those are our three new words. Let me mix them up to see if you can tell me what they are. You ready? Make sure they're not upside down. Oopsie, one was upside down. All right, mix them up. Here we go. See how fast you can do it. From, B, and S. All right, keep practicing your words, all of them, especially the ones that you have a hard time with. Challenge yourself to find them in all the things that you're reading and looking at. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.